I'm just so glad you were able to come along today. You, you want to say something? Yeah, um, I just want to take opportunity to thank you all for coming. Uh, what do you say, Naomi? My name is Will. I come from Maury. I'm married to a two and a half old girl. I've been coming to this community so far for 20 years now. I've been living out here for the last six years. Um, it's been a month now since this story is broken, uh, uh, Sydney Morning and Herald. Um, there's been follow-up stories by uh, media outlets, TV, written, I think. Through the case of all these reports, I haven't once heard anyone saying, and more importantly, I haven't, asked, I haven't heard anyone asking the question of where these statistics come from, how long they've had them, and if they've had them for an extended period of time, why haven't they hacked it? Why have you know, uh, gotten to this? Um, the last month, the um, government organisation that come into this community, under the auspices out there really help and run programs, what we've been told, what the, the information that's been coming back from the community is that these are government organisations that, uh, uh, that are, are compiling these statistics. Now, everything that's been said and done in the last month uh, nothing's come about. Uh, we, the men in these communities, have to sit and put up with the innuendo or being abusers. Now, I know for a fact that I'm not an abuser, and I know a lot of people in this community that have been innuendo about this community for a long time. But while they're young, it's just innuendo. They can't uh, uh, keep saying this stuff without acting. And more to the point, we as a community have to stand up and start saying something back. Because uh, as we speak now, Children and Bob are known as a community of people that abuse the children. And, um, you know, uh, it, it's sad. Uh, what's happening in the Northern Territory, uh, I report from one person. Um, doctors have been, uh, been in this community for three years that I know about. The education department's been here for uh, 50 years that I know about. Uh, all the health practitioners are coming in these communities. Uh, there's a thing called mandatory report. Uh, it, it, yeah. If the reports have been put in, why haven't they been acted on? Um, uh, I'm wondering if, if, if it is a concentrated effort from government agencies uh, uh, to get all the tumour out and, and, and land it uh, for whatever particular reason they want to use it for. Um, but um, I, I mean, I, I'm a bit sick of it. Uh, uh, well, like I said, the story broke a month ago and there's nothing coming back from either of these communities to defend us as a community or as a people. Um, we all know the social problems of, of Tumor, and by God, I'm not sure the government agencies know these social problems simply because they're a part of it. Um, they need to apply socioeconomics. Uh, uh, to come into the community first, they do these uh, uh, sort of things. Uh, they know the problems of Tumor and, and uh, uh, by God, but they, they fail to act, and, and it's gotten to the stage now where uh, uh, you know, there doesn't look to be any hope for these communities. I mean, we can either you know, lay down and let these people come in and do what they want to do, or we can you know, somebody to stand up and, and start saying something. But you know, it needs to be done a, a lot sooner than later. Because, uh, you know, like I said, as we speak, uh, 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 these communities are uh, uh, blasted from uh, uh, to the post. And, and I don't mean irrespective of the uh, uh, excuses they use for it, it's not right to uh, sit down and take it. But, you know, the question is asking them. Um, where the city out on the outer, and more to the point, if they've had these for an extended period of time, why haven't they acted? Why have they got this far? These accusations that are coming out in the, the press, that's all they are, accusations. Now everyone's running around like chickens with their head cut off, except for, you know, for the people who need them. I just want to answer some of the stuff that Will has just raised. And that is that, and as he knows, that we put, we bought the, put the trucking story up three or four years ago. And the from that that I caught was that we bought the villa because that story will put the value of our house down. And I said, we're not here to talk about the value of our, your house. We're here to talk about our kids. And that's the thing I want to raise again. I, I put my focus on the kids, community sure. Well, why didn't somebody come along and do something about it? My question is, uh, sure, the men are, are doing things too, but our focus at the moment is that it's about our kids, 
It's a community issue, it's not only men's issue. Bang at the moment. And we as a community have to own that problem and take it on board. And uh, as I said before, that look, there are, there, I'm, I'm going to put it to you, there are people who are doing this in this community. And I've seen it myself. And there, are, uh, there is evidence that people have been charged in this community. And you know, we can't run away from it. If we start doing that, then our kids are going to suffer all the more. And I'll stand up any day and take anyone on, these kids in this community. Uh, detectives have been knocking on my door since the other day. To be honest, I'm straight down the line with it. And if anyone wants to talk to me about it, give me a call. I'll certainly give you the information that I know what's happening. But also, we... We can say that yeah, government partners are offered this and that, but why didn't somebody come in and do something about it then? And that's the question I want to ask. But at the same time, it's back to us as a community people. You know, these, these kids are more our future, and I worry about that. We're going to have another stolen generation on our hands if we don't start to do something as community people and community elders. And I'd certainly like to hear what some of the, to my people have got to say about it.